I'm learned. <laughs> I'm super learned. I said, oofta. So, oh, we got to go get some potatoes. And you're like, oh, God, these are the best septic tank lids you can get anywhere. Don't buy the other ones. They suck. Got to keep my public image. Uh, my name is Spencer Dobson. Uh, I started doing comedy in about 92, but it hasn't been a direct straight line. So I'm not exactly sure if you add it all together how many years I've actually been doing comedy. I was born in North Dakota, yes. That's, oh. not, that's not where I started doing comedy, but that's where I was born. That might be true. You think it's true? Well, I mean, they can't bury dead people when the ground's frozen, right. and they do close the Dairy Queen. So but true. we do have coroners, and we do have funeral homes, so... I, I mean, I, I feel like you would want to investigate that. Like you would want to call the health department and be like, there's a lot of dead bodies on the sprinkles. Well, I used to listen to comedy albums as bedtime stories when I was a kid. I used to have like this little blue um, like record player and it'd flip up and there's a guy, uh, Sherman, uh, he's, he does this song about Hello Mada, Hello Fada. We had that whole album. It's all Yiddish. I, I was in my 30s before I got half of the references for it, but I loved it. And we had Steve Martin, and I would do, like my dad and his buddies would be having beers in the kitchen, and I would go in and go, I'm a wild and crazy guy. And they would laugh. And like, I know Bill Cosby is obviously a fallen hero at this point, but those records were amazing. You know, he's an incredible storyteller and he just, you know, especially for a kid, he paints such a great picture that uh, that's just what I wanted to do. And then we got HBO when like Robin Williams first came out and Richard Pryor first came out and we would watch them, these HBO specials, like they were really important. It was a big deal. And my friends and I all kind of, and my family would talk to each other in like funny movie quotes and funny stand-up lines and you could have like the secret language with people if you knew a comedy album you could just say I have a pony and they would laugh hysterically because they knew about Stephen Wright too and um, yeah so I, I, I went to school for radio and I was working in Western Colorado and the MTV half hour comedy hour would be on during my shift and I just was like that's what I want to do and this is kind of a sidestep way to try and do that without doing that. So I moved to Minneapolis. I started writing my act like in Colorado and it was a year before I had the guts to go on because I didn't know how to do anything. People didn't do stand up. It's not like now. That's just not a thing. It wasn't realistic and it wasn't, I didn't know who to talk to or where to begin. And fortunately Minneapolis even at the time had a lot of open mics and I took some improv classes and Comedy is this constant surprise. That was a pretentious ass answer. Uh, Comedy is getting people getting hit in the balls. It's midgets kicking people in the balls. Sometimes you know it's a good joke. So you try it again and try it again and then you're proven right. Or if it's not, then you either change it or dump it. Now if I love a joke, I will really try to give it a fair shake. And I have had jokes where like it didn't work for a long time so you put it in your pocket but then a new context comes up later and then you put it there and suddenly you've got a great joke. Big groups of anything are always trouble because there's a, there's a, a language going on between them. There is an inner office, you know, subtext, a, a um, subliminal you know, they're looking at this woman and seeing if she's laughing. They're looking at Fred. If Fred's happy, we're happy. If Fred's not happy, don't let Fred see you not be happy. So it's a really hard metric uh, to, to put your jokes up against. She was having a good time, but she, she had to be like, Meh. But, I don't want, but she was also rude. She was yeah. talking to people. She spaced yeah. off. She said I was going to be a bad husband. Yeah. I mean, she got gently jostled and now everybody can have fun afterwards. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've seen people actually pick on a heckler. I, I've made people, I made a hockey player cry once. So I, I know the difference between good-natured ribbing and uh, 